Okay, so hello there, Capricorns. I just wanted to do a feminine energy. So this is going to be for, I would say, female or if you have feminine. Okay, we all have feminine and masculine in us. So I just want to say that real quick, okay? But um, if you want to tap into your femininity, like your feminine side right now, I don't know if I even said that right, femininity. Um, I just know that that is exactly how this came out, okay? I do these for myself or I would, you know, show you that I shuffled. But this is for myself. I'm not going to cheat myself. Um, so this is definitely a Capricorn reading. And, dude, the energy that came out before these three, okay, like, let me just flip these over so that you can just see how amazing that spread is. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Devil card, which is you, Capricorn. We have the Chariot card, which is Cancerian energy. The High Priestess card, um, the Empress card, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the queen the ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles yes okay um so i mean dude look at this energy i mean you have the biggest amount of love coming in for you ever um with the ace of cups you are um you know the sexy okay i hate to say it capricorns but we got that sauce and we're the devil card for a fucking reason and it's because people get obsessed with us. They get crazy obsessed. So I just want to freaking throw it out there. I mean, and if you're a Capricorn, you know you know me. You know how you can feel me. You, you can relate. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, you have someone who, okay, you have a new beginning coming in, either with a lot of people or one person. I'm going to say one person probably. It could be a few, you know. However it resonates, if you are someone who multiple, like you date multiple people at once, or if you date one person at one time, someone is coming in with a lot of compassion um, empathy, tenderness, um, you know, they have an overflowing cup of love for you, Capricorn. And it's just clarifying that it's for you, Capricorn, and you are having a rebirth, Capricorn. You are shedding old skin, and you are stepping into your sexy, and people are obsessing over, you know, maybe your looks right now, or how you've stepped up your game, um, they also can see that you are in this energy, this Cancerian energy of charging forward, taking charge towards success, towards your life, owning it. Um, you know, you're not going to let nothing stop you. You're good. You're you keep going. Um, we also have the High Priestess card. I think it's Sag um, energy. I may be wrong on this one. I just can't think right now. But um, OK, this is where you trust your intuition and you trust your creativity to come to light. OK, if your intuition is telling you it's not fulfilling, it's not for you, it's something you're going to hate. Don't do that as your job or fulfillment. You know, don't feel forced to do anything in life that isn't going to, you know, put you in that. OK, the high priestess, she's content. She gives no reaction to anyone who's a narcissist. She can take it and she owns her her status with patience and intuition. And that is you right now, Capricorns. You know, you have that hidden talent of I can sense people's energies or I can feel people's motives. I know this and that. I have, you know, I'm reading you. I'm a Capricorn. And I have stepped into this beautiful, okay, we have stepped into this beautiful Empress energy. Um, So again, you are very motherly, like nurturing, tender. You People get obsessed over you, Capricorn, because the love that you give is irreplaceable no matter what other human being there is on this earth. You give the most abundant energy when it comes to a connection. You give loyalty. You give, you know, honesty. You put your all in if it is for you because you're a Capricorn and you are going to be in your freaking abundance here. And the other energy that you're also in, not only have you stepped into the sexy and your intuition and you're owning your devil energy because, you know, you're having this rebirth and shedding skin and you are charging forward with success. You're also sensitive and loving. Again, queen of cups energy. So some water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy there. And... I just want to say, again, you're loving again. It's like double the love, triple the love in this reading. I mean, you have a cop that's coming in for you. People are going to love you. And they see you as deserving of love. And then you're in the Empress and Queen of Cups energy. That's you being very loving and nurturing towards others. Very compassionate. But we have the Ten of Pentacles here. So you are coming to a completion. Um, I believe that either you want to be with someone long term and share your pentacles. And you want an equal give and take here. Because... 
That's usually what the Ten of Pentacles means. It is the forever family stable life. 444. Four, four. You are divinely protected with whoever the divine is telling you you are meant to be with Capricorn. And there you are to clarify your reading once again. There is you, sexy Queen of Pentacles. And do you see how much feminine energy just came out like right here? All right, now let me keep going so we don't run out of time. Next, we have... You've had growth, Capricorn. It is the end of all of the difficult things and obstacles and past relationships and things that have been in your motherfucking way for your highest good, your highest growth. Finally, the end of a tough cycle approaches you. Why? Because we have a fiery new beginning, a creative new beginning, a sexy, passionate new beginning with possibly a love offer. I mean, we have two major arcanas, Ace of Cups and Ace of Wands. So very loving, very passionate, very fiery energy coming in. And who could be the person that wants to fiery new beginning with you the king of pentacles someone who is stable who has wisdom who is serious who you know brings security brings everything that you're looking for is literally your counterpart in this reading because we have the king and queen of pentacles here um all right your overall energy it is saying that you are going to have a union with your soulmate this is where two souls pour pour all their love into one cup and become one. This is your mirror image, could be your twin flame, but this is not a karmic partner. This is loving energy when the two of cups comes out. Um, and you have stepped into your sexy Capricorns, queen of wands energy. Again, this is you being passionate or looking very, very uh, charismatic, very sexy. You are stepping into your sun energy. Like, okay, look, major arcana, the sun card. Joy and abundance is only ahead of you with relationships, with love, with friendship, with life. Again, it is definitely a love reading. Gemini energy right here. Um, the sun is Leo energy. The two of cups is water. The queen of wands is fire. Um, now, we have Gemini energy. We have the lover's card. So just clarifying that someone wants to have love with you. Who wants love with you? A possible fire sign. Sag Aries Leo. A leader. Entrepreneur type. The king of wands takes charge and wants to take care of their person. Their partner. Um... All right, and then some past energy over here. Who is in the past? We have some past energy, the King of Swords here. Now, what does the King of Swords want? Um, okay, what do you want with the King of Swords or what does he want? I would say that Capricorns, we're letting go of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We are letting go and walking away from someone we might have once loved or someone that we thought had genuine love for us. And the Eight of Cups is a very difficult energy because you're walking away from something that you repeatedly gave another chance to and it's finally time that... You know, every single one of them cups broke. You have to let it go. Walk away for your highest good. Why? Because this person broke your fucking heart. They did not have any anything good to offer you besides pain and hurts. And they repeatedly did it to you. This person might be holding on to this connection. Um, they might still be trying to hold on to you, Capricorn. Um, because, you know, you walked away and they never probably thought you were going to do that or catch them. So they are in very big disappointment right now. They're crying over, you know, spilt milk, the loss of you, Capricorn. Um, you know, you finally, you know, you're like, look, I'm done. I've got other blessings. You can, you know, cry it out. You've hurt me too many times. Like, you know, eight out of ten, we're done. Um, and then right here, Capricorns, I believe that after this, you know, rough thing, patch in your past it's time to rest and recuperate um you know otherwise this person has you heavily on their mind at night while they're crying over you which is the spilt milk and the five of cups energy this is gemini libra aquarius it's swords the five of cups is pisces cancer scorpio the four of pentacles is earth energy um uh capricorn taurus my cat's trying to go in cupboards. Lord, help me. I'm sorry. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. But that is your beautiful reading. And I would just like to read you what you need to manifest. Now, your manifestation cards I pulled because, you know, they're for myself. I'm not going to cheat myself. Um, I'm a Capricorn. So what do you need to manifest? We need to manifest finding balance, being proud of ourselves, and lightening up. A message from Libra, Taurus, and Leo. I send you my love and light. Bye, guys. I will show you one more time before we run out of time. Remember, general spread of your energy, Capricorn. What is coming in for you in love, overall energy, and what happened in the past? Bye, guys.